What is going on guys? Welcome to episode number 2 of my Championship Manager 97-98 series with Valencia Club de Football to break El Clasico. So we are done with our first episode and I don't know, it's a bittersweet feeling. Uh, I mean, prior to the last episode, I had such a great uh, pre-season in which I managed to sign all five of my targets. However, the first three games were not that kind to us because yeah, while we managed to win comfortably in the Copa del Rey first round against Barcelona B, but against Barcelona A, while, while it is an away game and 3-3 three, three seems to be a uh, three all seems to be a decent result against them, but I'm gutted. I was three nil up, and then they just scored three goals really far. I mean, in front of their almost hundred and twenty thousand fans, uh, in 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 the camp no no camp, they yeah they just yeah they just <laughs> they just don't want to go home being uh humiliated so uh, but i mean in any case we are unbeaten we considered a lot of goals but it might be because of the tactic i forgot to put uh these little arrows here so hopefully it will change things moving forward but now that is out of the way we can concentrate to the other games but in two days time right after the barcelona b game i didn't realize that actually uh, i thought that there's a uh, a little bit of time just two days after we have to travel all the way to Kevin Keegan's Faladolid recently appointed uh, Kevin Keegan to go against Real Faladolid and yeah it's gonna be a tough game again I, I, I don't know away games are always tough away games are always tough and Betis is also not a team to be laughed at they have a lot of crazy talents like Vinny D. George and uh, they don't have Danielson yet actually but yeah all of these talents more all of these guys uh, in their team basically they are massive 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 talents so yeah look at this guy like look at these stats it's like Real Madrid kind of stats so yeah it's going to be it's not easy it's not going to be easy but yeah uh, we have to rotate our foreign players as well so yeah and here it is here it is let's see how everyone is doing yeah like I thought uh, not everyone is fit that's the problem and Marcelino is Kuti uh, is also in a bad condition but I might play uh, Hayden Strom. I need him in the MC position though. But Guti is at 90%. I'll play Luis Mila then. Why not? And how about the FGNs? I have to manage really carefully now. Uh, Galvez is also playing really well. Marcelinho, I can rest. But I have to replace him with maybe Bakayoko. Uh, but one, two, three, four. Probably Ortega on the bench. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's all. Because Claudio Lopez and Galvez, they are doing so well. Uh, they have such a blistering start to the season. So I might want to stick with them just for a bit more but here you go uh, i always jinx myself actually and i always think along the line of the murphy law kind kind of way like for example oh no uh everything that could go wrong will go wrong and every match i approach every match that way and i think it's not the right uh, attitude actually i should be more positive in approaching the games and angulo have to take the responsibility for uh, free kicks and stuff like that. I think I'll go with Galvez as a penalty because he's the one scoring lots lots of goals while Claudio Lopez the one assist. So hopefully it's a good idea as well. And let's go 
face Kevin Keegan right now. So let's approach things calmly and positively, I guess. Maybe that's that's better, even though I have I always have anxiety, especially when approaching away games like this. It's always yeah. So far so good. Oh but we need we need a goal, come on! Ah, couldn't keep it down. So far, high pressure, but if we don't translate into goal, then that will be bad, especially heading to the second half. Yeah, now I can see the tide is already turning with that, which is sucks. Come on, Marcelinho is not playing, but yeah, he... Oh, the, the goalkeeper is on form. Super keeper syndrome. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, yeah, and they, they, they get in front. We wasted tons of chances and now they are in front. Kevin Keegan, the master of management, apparently. Again, how many chances do we have to... Yeah, finally, equalizer. We should be like 3-0 up by now. Lukic, the defender, has to score. Thank you. We should be like 3-0 up or 4-0 easily. Galvez. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Uh, come on, Bakayoko. Uh, I thought he was going to have his debut goal, but apparently not. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. We survive. But we need to survive. We need to survive the second half as well, just like the Barcelona game. And they are pressuring us. More attacking formation. That is not what I want to see. Oh, they scored. No, come on. We scored two goals quickly, but we need we need to do more than this. Bakayoko has been quiet, and Ortega maybe can spark something, and Guti, I guess, and who else? Fernando probably as well. Maybe not yet. Just do two substitute. Lucic again. Oh come on. Uh, it's not going well at all. Yeah, let's make some changes. Bakayoko is not good at all here. Maybe mix it up. Uh, and Fernando... No, not Javi Navarro. Yeah, here and then Bakayoko go to attack. Yeah, now... Okay, equalizer. Can we can we win this? Fernando. So my sub is working, but I I I don't like. Come on, ah, Bakayoko missed. Come on, late chance, late chance. Oh, oh yes! Suddenly, out of the blue, out of the blue, and we are wearing blue. Ortega, come on! Wow, four three. Unnecessarily complicated. Unnecessarily complicated. Look at that domination. Ah, and their goalkeeper is a super keeper syndrome, but we beat the script. Let's go. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. God damn it. I mean, it's unnecessary pressure, but... <sighs> against King Kev, but we came out on top. I mean, we only had two days rest, to be fair to us. Yeah, I mean, not trying to use it as an excuse, but seriously. And Real Madrid and Barcelona, of course, getting wins, big wins, I should add. And Ortega. That's why every, every, everyone is making a case for me to play them. That's, that's the thing now. And next match is against Betis. I don't know if I, I should rotate again or keep it. I, this is getting... Getting complicated and one Fran, maybe I will play one Fran so that I, I free up uh, one foreign guy. 
<laughs> I don't know. This is going bad. And maybe Guti is better than... I, I believe that Mila makes a lot of mistakes. That's what I noticed anyways. Uh, I'll stick with Mendieta. Uh, again, I'm influenced by uh, real life because we know that Mendieta will become such a superstar in real life. Uh, Gerard, I don't know. He's not impressing me at all. He's just a youngster. And Fernando scored as well, uh, just as he came on. So, yeah, everyone is like <laughs> making a huge case to to play. Which is it's a headache, but it's a good headache. If this is if this keeps happening, then it's a good headache. If I keep rotating people and then they keep on performing, uh, yeah, I should that should have been me. Come on, I know that Barcelona is a strong team and things like that, but we, yeah, I mean, if we won against them, maybe we would have been the one. I don't know. Okay, Kamarasa is injured. A week, uh, I believe, yeah, he's one of the defenders, Afi Navarro, and, oh, damn it, that breaks my plan, to be honest, because I have one here, and then three more, right, Angulo is out, as well, so, wow, a lot of headache, a lot of headache. So far, Fernando then, easy. Maybe Ortega as well. Ortega, uh, Marcelinho, okay, one, two, okay, it's already three so far, four. Uh, that's full, full slot. Bakayoko hasn't been impressing, hasn't been impressing. That's why, uh, I don't know why, but when whenever I try to play... Uh, the so-called legendary players that everyone talks about, everyone saying, oh, you know, if you buy this player, uh, it will be amazing and things like that. Uh, it always ends up not working for me for some reason. Just like uh, Tom Madeira, for example, in the Championship Manager 0102. Even though people say that he's good, he's amazing, he's out of this world, but it never works for me. It never he never works for me. He never scores any goals. It's just it's just flop. So I don't know. I don't know how people get those players to work. I I, I have no idea. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I have no idea. Because I I don't see it at all. Same goes for Bakayoko so far. It's not like the, the one thousand goals. A per season craziness. I, I I I don't see that at all. I'm sorry, but it's a home game against Betis, one of the strongest teams in this game as well. Not only in this league, but in this whole game. But we are at home finally, so hopefully it should be better. Hopefully. Oh, I don't like Lukic is making a lot of mistakes or conceding fouls and. We are already behind. We are already behind. We are already behind. We almost equalized, but nothing going. Yeah, Betis is a strong team. Can't use it as an excuse, but yeah. Again, goalkeeper. Oh, Hafina Faro. Okay. Equalizer, but we we shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be behind all the time. We shouldn't be behind all the time. We should be scoring and then defending well. Yeah, they are piling a lot of unnecessary pressure here. Come on, come on, man. Okay. Half time, but. Uh, not really liking things how they are going. Maybe Lopez and Galvez change pace. Come on. Again, the goalkeeper safe. We are at home. But it feels like away. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We are. But now don't concede. 
Now don't concede. Marcelinho, I know that he is good. Nah, come on. Yeah, <sighs> shit. They are also doing the pressure, but we are up again 3-1. But just as we know, this no safe, no safety until the end of the game. No safety at all until the end of the game. Come on, Zubi Zareta. Reliable, reliable. But uh, Fini D. George, oh, they're making a lot of changes. We should too. Hayden Storm also not doing that well for some reason. That's why, I don't know, the the legends, the so-called legends that people talk, oh, Lucic, 10 rating. I was, I was about to sub him because I'm afraid that he might get cuts and all those crazy stuff, but I think it's not a good idea. Hayden Storm, probably. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if Luis Mila is a good idea, to be honest. In the Barcelona game, he, the moment I put him, he, yeah, he just collapsed. The team just collapsed. Come on, 20 minutes. If we can add a goal or, or just tighten up. Come on. 10 more minutes. Galfes. Goes wide. Okay, I think we are we have it. One more goal maybe. No. Full time three one. But we are beyond Teddy Lucic. Amazing, amazing. But yeah, uh Hayden Storm not doing too well. Oh look at that. They dominated us, but Zubi Sareta on form, Lucic on form. So they didn't go through us that much. But damn, we got off again. We got off again. And yeah yeah Hayden storm and then the abakayoko I mean, they, they so far they haven't shown amazing things at least not the amazing things that people always talk about you know like uh scoring 1000 goals per season you know and those or maybe it's not this season maybe the first season is not like that so maybe this kind of legends we have you have to develop them as well like that's the raw material and then you have to uh, develop them in order to for them to release uh, to realize their yeah to release their full pot full full power or, or to realize their full potential that's what i meant to say but yeah it works either way but yeah at least we we keep on winning we won and then barcelona real madrid we, we are level on points with them atletico madrid ha haven't even considered a goal yet at this point and i believe we are facing them sooner or later and barcelona getting the win as well i don't know but uh i believe next is racing santander and then sevilla and then tenerife so the atletico match is also being rearranged because i thought that we face real madrid and then we face atletico as well uh, in the early stages but it's clearly not the case so now it's a international break oh matt Leticia signing for Wimbledon. Interesting. I wanted to click on his profile, but it won't let me. So I'm going to start our business anyways. Okay, Guti. Yeah, let's start. see how he's doing. On the band 9. Okay, it's good. 4 nil against Israel. So the championship manager 97-98 is pretty exciting as well. Even though it... On Heinz, I mean... In a way, it's a bit... It, they look like uh, very simple, but actually, yeah, in the actual fact, it is very engaging and very deep, very deep. <clears throat> okay, let's see how Baka Bakayoko is doing well. Come on, in in I mean, man of the man. I mean, it's not doing too well since uh, it's only one one and because yeah. And because of the own goal, late own goal, then they salvage, salvage a draw in the friendly. But he's man of the match. So why can't he be man of the match for us? So maybe, like I said, maybe it's not this season that he fulfills his potential and then like scoring the 1,000 goals that people always talk about. It's not an immediate thing. Like you sign him and then yeah, just, just like Tom Madeira in the other game. And then 
uh, Maxim Sigalko as well. It's the same thing as well. It never worked for me, but then again, I never played a, a lot of seasons. At least not when I signed them anyways. I used to play a lot of seasons in Championship Manager 0102 back in my childhood, but I need him because of the FGN thing. Yeah, in my childhood, but I didn't use these players at that time. I didn't know about Tomadera being a hero or uh, Sihalko being an overpowered players or something like that. <laughs> I didn't know and I was playing in the Scottish League as well at the time. So yeah, didn't pay attention to to all the mainstream stuff. Let's just put it that way. So the international break is over, I believe, and the match is coming up against Racing Sun Thunder again, uh, another away game. Jack Charlton's always being uh, being signed a lot. Like just now, if you guys notice, uh, Lega Lehanes, I believe. Yeah, Jack Charlton. Oh, he's always appointed by someone. Even though in real life, it's unlikely. I don't think Jack Charlton will be signing for Lehanes or any foreign team. But yeah, but that's what happened. Okay, Kamarasa is back, uh, but he's 94, so maybe Javi Nafaro and Lucic, who played really well. Okay, let's rotate the strike force. The strike force is the one that is giving me a lot of headaches. Uh, 94, I don't think I want to play him. Yeah, I'll play Guti in this position. Seems to be doing okay. And Hayden Storm in MC, and let's see how he's doing. And maybe Emers on the bench and then let's play around with the FGNs okay Claudio Lopez and G Galvez continues to play well maybe Bakayoko give him a chance and then Ortega in that position with Marcelinho but I want Fernando as well yeah, on the bench, just in case. Angulo could be good as well, but I think Fernando is a more experienced guy that is more reliable. So hopefully you can keep this up. It's another away game. Again, not a big fan of away games. Uh, but what can you do? You can't play at home every day, you know? That's the thing. All right. Back to the blue shirt, Marcelinho, Galvez, it was uh, Galvez again. Come on. He shoots for goal, but safe. Again. Again with the early chances, but we don't convert it. And then, yeah, we need to convert the early chances, man. Because otherwise they will strike us from out of nowhere, just like the last game. Oh, Hayden Storm. Come on, come on. I, I, is that Bakayoko for the debut goal? Is That's Bakayoko. That's his arrival. Right there. Mark my word. But now, keep up the pressure, guys. Keep up the pressure. Come on. We need some cushion. It's an away game. Come on. Oh, super keeper syndrome again. Come on. Uh, yeah, I don't like that when they say they go into a more attacking setting or something like that. I don't like that. Especially going into the second half. Uh, I, I pressed the button too late. Because when they kick off, if you press spacebar, uh, yeah, too late, then the game will speed up. Yeah, see, second half, they, they just... I don't know if it's the... I don't know if the nature of the game or something, but in second half, they just go go at it. Bakayoko, let's go. That's the legend for you. CM legend. CM legend. CM legend. That is 
why people have been talking a lot of crazy stuff about him now i'm starting to see but yeah i was about to say but <laughs> galvez uh starting to not doing amazing so let's replace him mark emmers probably double substitution just to freshen up things everywhere come on bakayoko i believe that his hat trick what a way to announce his arrival that's why people have been talking about crazy things now can we keep a clean sheet can we keep a clean sheet who emmers coming in with a goal oh disallowed come on it starts it begins the disallowed goals the controversy yeah now it doesn't matter Hope oh shit one front gets injured do we have any replacement not really so we have to play someone out of position which is bad but there's nothing i can do hopefully usually this will result into bad things like four goals in four minutes or something like that yeah yeah like like that yep yep come on okay it didn't result in in any bad things but bakayoko announced his arrival right there that's how you announce arrival and we kept the clean sheet for the first time that's how you announce your arrival with a hat trick immediately immediately you don't have to wait two seasons you don't have to wait three seasons and it's a good result and we climb second above real madrid and barcelona who lost actually against atletico madrid and who considered the first time against luis enrique enrique but fieri oh christian fieri is so good man it's so good 11 million one of the most expensive in the world i believe at that time uh one fran gets injured for a long time and not good not good because of the it disrupts the fgn thing <laughs> the fgn thing okay i believe we have time to play one more so or oh, maybe not maybe not uh, i'll just leave the two legs for next time i think for now i think 27 minutes is enough because if i play the next game conti clicking continue and things like that uh it will be it will be yeah taking a lot of times so maybe just like click continue until we are about to play that game and then we we'll save the game and then end the episode but yeah i mean it's so good that we managed to win all of the games i believe today a saw campbell always signs for man united for some reason uh, it's two saves in a row already for me yeah that's insane but yeah like i said that i'm so glad that we managed to win all of our matches today first one was against faladolid and then against real betis very scary two games there and then we comfortably beat racing some thunder away from home as bakayoko announced his arrival to the world so up next episode we'll be playing against sofia in the continuation of the copa del rey so some of the matches have started let's see if there's any shock uh, the, real, the real madrid and barcelona they haven't joined the cup yet so yeah it's still early days in the cup but yet we're already facing sevilla one of the strongest team as well in cm9 championship managers 97 98 i believe so i will be playing next ep no, next episode hopefully we can squeeze four matches hopefully until the second leg because i like to it's an ocd thing almost yeah so hopefully we can do that maybe even if i exceed uh the time limit that's that's okay because now if even if i play the severe game there'll be a, it's a bit lopsided you know what i mean so i like to play this first leg and second leg in the same sitting so yeah it's really good uh three three matches super keeper syndrome averted because of the heroics of fernando and ortega who came in late and then real betis as well 
who also goalkeeper plays really well as always. I think all goalkeeper, all opposing goalkeepers played really well, and uh, we survive coming from behind to win three one in the end uh, at home, and then racing Santander away. Same thing, super keeper syndrome, dominating, and Bakayoko announcing his arrival to the world. Welcome Bakayoko, welcome home. So yeah. Hopefully next episode, things will be as amazing as well. We can continue getting the result, can continue being unbeaten, continue to keep clean sheets and continue to match up the table if possible. Because all we need to do in this championship manages 97-98 Valencia Club the Football Series is to break El Clasico. And let's do it. Atletico, Real Madrid and us are the only three teams unbeaten so far. So let's see if we can continue that form. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, write any comments. I will definitely answer all those comments, every single one of them. And of course, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, and turn on notifications. You will get the content every weekday, at least as a plan. From Monday to Friday, uh, there will be an upload for this series. And Saturday and Sunday will be some other series that I'm, I will be doing. So thank you so much for watching. And see you guys in the next episode. Things are heating up. And surely there will be more exciting things. And have a nice day.